What's good, everybody? It's Kenny Cummings here, chilling with Jeff and Kenny C. And uh, getting some love all over the country. Truly appreciate that. I got my good friend, Mike Moore, representing the West Coast. What's good, man? Hey, what's good? How's it going, Kenny? Thanks for me on the show. Absolutely, man. Thank you so much for being on. Um, I've been listening to your to your music for quite some time, for a few weeks. It's always cool when you're on Twitter and you get random following for people for, for time to time. So I got this follow from Mike Moore. I said, okay, I'm going to check him out. I'm a hip-hop head. And uh, the Good Morning joint was the first I checked out. And then I checked out Bikinis. The the Good Morning track was fire. I was like, okay. Thank you, bro. I definitely dug that track. Uh, and then I got a, I went on to listen to Bikinis a little bit earlier today. I dig that joint, too. I'm like, I, I like what I hear from this cat. Uh, so, like, you, you you from Washington or you from Oregon or from Washington? But technically, I'm from Washington. Uh, I, I live in Vancouver, but um, I'm like 10 minutes out of Portland. Um, I'm always in Portland. I used to live in Portland for a little bit, but... Um, Vancouver is just a little bit, you know, more, um, you know, cost effective. So I'm able to save a little bit of cash and stay up there. Um, so yeah, I call Vancouver my home. Still get confused with Vancouver, Canada. So I always say Portland. Um, but yeah, I think it's coming from Vancouver. All right. So basically you, rep- basically you represent the Northwest, then you rep in the Northwest. Exactly. It's like all the same vibe. It's all the same, you know. I'm, and I represent the Northwest, and then on top of that, mostly I just represent me. That's cool. That's what's up. So, what got you starting into being a hip hop artist? Um, it was just basically just like just messing around with my friends, just like um, like we're rapping in the car and stuff. And uh, a lot of my friends would do it all the time, and I was just kind of wanted to like sit there and you know watch. But after a while, I kind of do it myself and. Then I kind of uh, got into just like writing, and I was already kind of into poetry a lot. So then when I kind of turned it into music, I just kind of started writing a lot more music, and uh, it became what it became. I, but I never really like guessed it would uh, go this far. But I was uh, like as far as just like doing it as what I want to do for like my career or like my life. But uh, finding the love in it basically just had me go and just give it a hundred percent and you know not really doubt myself and through doing that um a lot of things came out of it and are still coming out of it was there anyone in particular um any artists that that inspire you or that you consider like an influence within your music um i'd say like honestly a lot of independent artists inspire me just the fact that they're they're doing it without like um, a big push. Um, there's a few of them, like Chance the Rapper and like uh, Malcolm Moore. Um, there's very few that are like fully independent, you know. But um, but I just do their own thing. I'd say like Kendrick Lamar is like a huge uh, rapper that I look up to, um, and like Talib Kweli, and uh, I look up to like people like yeah, like Outkast too. And Andre 2000 is actually like one of my top favorite rappers. I love Andre 2000. I kind of like the weird flow. I like Kid Cudi too, uh, Kid Cudi because. Like, he just stays himself. Um, but I'd say those are kind of my inspirations. Um, but I think I'm just more inspired by the fact that someone can, like, come up from straight nothing and then, like, become something. Like, even, like, um, like another guy had, like, a long road was, like, two chains. And I look up to him, he was, like, Titty Boy at one point. And he was still, you know, really popping off and stuff. But, like, to get to where he was at a level where he was comfortable and stuff, it took him a while to get to that level. But once he was there, it's, like, um, it's all self will and you know, selfish and, and that's kinda what I look up to is just someone that's really motivated and like how'd they do that? Like there's there's a way that they did it. Like you could do it too if you really wanted to. You just have to really try and, you know, wanna be that person. And if you are that person then there's no denying it, all the stopping you is yourself. That's very, very true, uh, with a lot what you said. Um Chance to rapper in particular. You talk about a guy Put out a mixtape last year. You know, people always put out mixtapes, but he did, and then it blew up. He just, and he didn't. Oh, no, 
you know, big major deals or things like that. Like, he did it all on his own, literally. And dude went on to become the first hip-hop artist since Lauryn Hill to win the Best New Artist. And, you know, that's that's dude. And, yeah. and when, you, when you see a guy like Chance, who is, like, independent, it feels like independent artists are getting become more successful than major label artists, at least from the hip-hop side of things, because it feels like artists like Chance, they can literally put up the music the way that they want to without any middleman or any A&R voice whispering in the ear, like, try to do something else or whatever. So what what's it, yeah. what's it like when you see a guy like Chance, you know, with his situation, and he's able to succeed the way that he does? I, I look at it as like, I look at him um, as like, I, I just ask how, like, how did that, how did he do it? And that's all I, I think about is like, and uh, his music's phenomenal. Like, I love his music too. And like, that's like the style that like, like that I feel best with, like is the Kiss type of style is like, I love it. It's like my favorite kind. Same with like how Outcast had that kind of um, style too at some point. And uh I think like I asked how like and there's always like a, a way that he did it in the way that you know others can do it if they just have the willpower. Some people just have it more than others. Um, but yeah, it's, I look at that as just inspiration. It's just a way to you know keep moving because like he did it, like he proved that it can be done. You know. That is true, and you know, with with hip hop nowadays, it's like. People do tend to fall into the same trends. You know, it happens. You know, every we you hear a song on the radio, and you're like, you know what? Maybe that's what I need to do in order to stay relevant or be relevant, whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's like, and it happens. Like, d- do you think as an artist, do you think it's frustrating to hear people go into that? Oh route? yeah. Oh yeah, all the time. Like that's like. I feel like the major, the, the the biggest pressure on a rap artist, I feel like, in my own personal view of what I've been through so far, is, like, um, just ignoring, like, what you believe is, like, the trend or what's hot right now. Like, just try, try to block that out and just keep doing your own thing. I feel like people look at what a lot of other people's art and they're inspired by it and it kind of draws them that way. And, yeah, it could be, like, dope so it can inspire you. But um, in that, you don't want to make sure you don't want to lose, you know, your what you were trying to do originally, you know, the difference that you're personally trying to make and uh, uh, the goals you were trying to meet for yourself rather than for others. That is true. And it's definitely feel more challenging than ever to come up with some original content. Um, and I guess maybe hip-hop fans in general feel... Uh, they just feel spoiled. Like, they hurt everything at this point. And yet, there, there's, yeah. there's always a way with, with the technology that we have and with with the studios, the way that it looks and, and, and the different sounds and stuff. That, there's always a way to come up with something different. You know, sometimes it takes it takes a day, it may take a week, it may take a month, it may take a year. <laughs> but there's yep. always there's always a way for someone to do something different. It's just a matter of how how can it happen, I guess. It takes the creativity and being in the studio and try to come up with something. Yeah, for sure. And it's all about, you know, I, my, like just keep doing it, like persistence because like I don't feel like I was even close to what I, how I rap now, I, I wasn't like this a year ago or even two years ago. Um, I feel like I've grown and grown, still grown as an artist. So it's like, I feel like in that way, I, I want to be proof to others that you, you can not be a natural born rapper and still be able to be a rapper. Like, or even like just a musician in general, you can always learn something and pick it up as long as you, your heart's in it, you know? That's very true. That's very true. So I, I, I played one of the songs on my live show recently uh, I play bikinis. I uh, went with that route and definitely dug the track. I'll talk about that song and what's it all about? <laughs> so bikinis was a, a song produced by one of my really good friends. Actually, uh, he goes by Sayu Beats, like S A Y U. 
beats, and uh, he, he does his own thing too, but he helps me out with like, a lot of songs. Um, so he basically produced that track, and uh, he called it Bikinis in the original track. And in that track, um, I thought, when, once I made it, it was like a really feel-good track, and uh, it was only necessary to call it something that was kind of a feel-good title. And uh, I was thinking about it, and I was like, like Bikinis is just like a word that is just like a feel-good word in general. It, like, uh, it's just basically fit the song in a weird way and I was like the song's kind of weird anyways and just like as far as like um just different and I just wanted the title to be different as well and also fit the vibe of the song um and basically it's just about after you realize you know what's going on in your own life and to a full like 360 degree level to where you actually are everything including your consciousness and your surroundings um it's about what you do that next step after that um what do you what do you now what is your dream and what are your goals and um you stop caring about uh the little things that really are holding you back and you start uh replacing those with the thoughts and um the ideas and motivation that's gonna push you forward and what you do. um so i believe that's what the keys is about and it's also kind of shouting out to the people that kind of taught you those things but you just didn't really realize that they taught you those things a long time ago and now you're just starting to realize that as you get older and as you're growing up you realize like your mother and your father and you know your siblings like they'll teach you things that you might not realize are going to help you in the future if you pay attention enough though they teach you all those things but it just takes a while to really realize what those are but yeah that's kind of what bikinis is about gotta love parents when they, 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 they always want to teach you something and us young kids, we don't tend to listen. Either either we may not hear it the first time or we're just stubborn. Like we want to find things up differently. Uh, so that's definitely quite the uh, analogy. And Yeah. I uh, also, with the video, I like to do with my videos a little bit different. I like to make a different analogy or... Um, with it as far as like making the song it's it's just a different with the visual because i, I want to kind of uh full uh statement with all my songs or most of them when i make videos to them and the the video is basically about just uh, me going through my life and um like life is throwing things at me to make me you know i'm going to school and then i'm going to work and then um i'm doing this and that but it's like it's like all these things are coming at me um because it's just what life is and you end up being this person, but is that the person you were actually supposed to be or is that the person you became because of all the things life threw at you? And the more understanding on that topic, the more uh, we'll be able to understand each other and the more people will actually uh, get along with each other and vibe well with each other rather than um, spreading negativity or hate throughout the world, like just to make it, you know, or I feel like spreading positivity or a good message like that um, will you know, how people will be able to just understand people more and, uh, and, and do it in a cool way, do it through music or, you know, like that's all my goal is through my music is to help people understand more about themselves. Well said, man. And it is available on YouTube right now. Um, there is a, a photo on your Twitter account at Mike more 20. And you, yeah. and you out there dressed up like Colin Kaepernick with the fro and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you're going to be like Kaepernick, you got to have the fro, definitely. So, um, but man, dude, like, musically, you, you're talented. You, you, you're definitely doing your thing. Um, and what's it like when you get to perform these songs? in front of the audience and you, you feel the energy for the crowd. What's that feeling like when you get a chance to perform these songs? Um, it's like, it's like a, a feeling of like, I'm finished with, I, I have this message fully like two people to where like, I just kind of want to keep doing it more and more. Like, like this is definitely the last time I'm performing this song. Um, I feel like connected though. I feel like people, I feel like finally people understand, you know, like, um, I think when I first started making music, it was hard to really write uh, people. It would, it would, you know, connect with people. And when my music actually starts connecting with people and you can just see that it connects with people, like that's just the feeling right there of accomplishment. 
um, that's all I'm trying to do is just connect with as many people as I can and um, hope they feel the same about my music as I do about it. So, uh, as far as upcoming shows, upcoming performances, you got any? If you got any shows that you want people to know check soon? Yeah, for sure. I'm actually um, I'm on my little um, tour right now. It has like, I think I have four cities left. Um, so I have one in Oakland um, at the Stork Club. It's um, like a 21 plus show. It's like at 8 p.m. at the Stork Club in Oakland. Um, that is April 1st. And then I also have one on April 2nd in Fresno. Um, and that's at Club 7-Eleven, I believe. And that one, yeah, it's April 2nd. Uh, it's also 21 plus, 8 p.m. Definitely need to check. And then, yeah. Oh, so I was going to say also, then check out my show in Portland if you're in Portland. Um, that's my hometown. But, yeah, Portland for sure, April 10th. And then Seattle, I have April 21st. Seattle will be at... Um, the store or the Skylark Cat Music Cafe um, in Seattle, April 21st, April 10th at Kelly's Olympian, Portland, Oregon. Definitely check those shows out. Show your support to the homie. Definitely doing his thing. Before I let you go, man, why don't you go ahead and promote your social media links and where can people hear your music? Yeah, for sure. So um, you can find me at Mike Mar 20 on Instagram. Twitter, Snapchat, Mike Moore 20. That's yeah, 2020, M I C M A R. You can find me on YouTube at Mike Moore, uh, M I C M A R. Um, you can find me on YouTube um, and Facebook. Facebook will be Mike Moore, Young Lit Hippie. I am the Young Lit Hippie. That is my brand. That is my movement. You guys also type in Young Lit Hippie on Google and you'll find us as well. Um, merchandise is on my website. Um, music videos are on my website and on YouTube. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, follow. Uh, you'll get a lot of free stuff. Cool, man. I want to thank you for being on the show. Truly appreciate it. Keep doing your thing. And oh, by the way, you can check out the bikini music video and the good morning video also on the YouTube channels. Uh, go check them out. And vibe, get your vibe on. Vibe off the records, man. He, this dude is very, yep. very talented. Uh, continue success. And again, thank you for being on. Thank you so much, Kenny. All right, thank you, everyone, for listening. This will conclude the interview. Check out more interviews and then some on Channel with Jeff for Kenny Z Live. Saturdays, 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TMVCafe.com, bringing you entertainment to your ears that's mike mark i'm kenny Cummins signing out thank you everyone for listening